you guys tonight's reunion was hilarious so many characters from fam savvy to diana to chi chi it was just quite hilarious and we finally had a proper reunion type show you guys know that yesterday was more about the south africa trip it was more like an introduction i was even thinking that today we're going to still have like an introduction type situation where they were working with their outfits you guys know how they did the last time so we saw all their outfits everything that's how they started it was nice yeah but you know we, we had the normal show and it lasted for 30 minutes this 30 minutes is very very short it, it feels like before you start it has already ended it's almost like when you're about to get into it it just ends so um let me just give you guys the full breakdown of everything that happened at the reunion tonight and everything that was addressed welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here you know what to do please do what to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that i can get inspired when i post a brand new video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so the first person that ibuka spoke to was chi chi he spoke about the fact that he heard that chi chi was was um had issues with all the housemates like almost all the housemates and chi chi was like <laughs> I don't have issues with like all these people. The only person I had an issue with was Deji. And Deji was not even present tonight. I think he's going to join via Zoom because from yesterday or the clip I saw online, he attended via Zoom. So they I believe they are going to address their issues later on. You know, so they didn't really go deep into it. They just asked Chomzi whether they are friends and she's like, um, she doesn't really know and everything. Then he now moved on to Groovy and Fina, right? And he asked Groovy about his South Africa trip, how it was for him. And Groovy was like, um, he had a good time in South Africa. It was fun for him. And Ibu kind of asked him. So, like, it was fun with Fina as well. And he was like, he had a good time with everybody. And he also, like, classified Fina under the everybody that he believes she's part of everybody. <laughs> ah, okay. I know fully well that they are no longer together because they've said it online and everything. But like just watching this and seeing how they're addressing each other now, him saying she's part of everybody. It was just hilarious to see. But yeah, people kind of asked Fina the same question and she's like, yeah, she did not have a good time in South Africa. She said the cold was too much and she was not able to adapt to the cold weather and everything so she didn't really have a good time and Ibu kind of asked about Groovy like okay what was the situation with yourself and Groovy it wasn't here enough fun for you and everything and she was like yeah we did some things then those things were fun and Ibuka said and Ibu kind of asked her which things like what are those things that she, that she did and she's like Ibuka that's it <laughs> that's the, that's all the information I'm gonna give you that's literally what it was given so she's like Ibuka that's it and Ibuka is like, what is it? She's like, Ibuka does it. She repeated it again. Ibuka was still trying to know what exactly um, it was that she classified as fun or the things that he did that she class classified as fun. And she's like, Ibuka does it. I'm not giving you any information. So it looks like we're not going to be getting a lot of information from the Fina and Groovy situation. Or maybe something might just trigger her to say something later on. But for now, she's like, that is it. So that's what we're going to be working with then they now spoke about the azu situation i don't know if you guys were following the shags and adequately drama online where shags um adequately threw a shade um a general shade kind of like he had a newsletter it was a newsletter situation so in this is newsletter he just talked about his experience in south africa and then inside the newsletter there are some things he said that it was almost like he was throwing shade at some of the housemates and it felt like it was directly at shags right so the night before shags bought azu in south africa and you guys know that azu was trending there like if you buy azu you're like you're a big guy because it's very expensive so people like shags bought azu shags bought azu so in adequate newsletter he wrote that um you know all of these things your favorites are doing is all sponsored by pepsi so they should not like think that people are using their money to do things kind of like that's how the the whole situation was now, Shags now went online to say that, you know, I, I bought my Azul, um, I bought my Azul and, you know, people are there talking and everything. He just went online to just uh, make it clear that he was the one that bought his Azul. So, they asked about it and Shags explained that he wasn't even trying to put any information out there. It was just like some people were live and they captured it. I was really low-key and um, obviously he felt like ridiculous um a, a newsletter was directed at him and they said that he did not 
it was not directed at um it was not directed at him he did not even know that Shex but Azu they were not on the same table they were not around each other at the club that um it was trending online but he did not know about it so the newsletter was not directed at him I don't know if I believe that because <laughs> it seemed like a straight off shade better now you know had her own thing to say she was like that was definitely a shade that um adikli was definitely shading um shex that everybody knew about the azul situation so there's no way you're gonna say that that was not a shade at um he wasn't trying to shade at shex so adikli just said that it wasn't really like that and also i was also trending at the time so they asked him and he said he wanted adikli to say the person that he was directing it at so at the end of the day they didn't really resolve anything they just brought up the situation i feel like resolving things will be happening later on the only person that resolved their case immediately was doing so they asked doing about her situation with saif you guys know that first of all doing was with saif and then before saif left and later on she now got close to cheesy right so she was like that she was attracted to his confidence that she, she's attracted to confidence guys and everything so it was his confidence that really attracted her and everything and obviously she felt something for him at that time and then there was a, apparently there was a comment she made about his his physical looks i i think it was like a not not it was a not so good comment about his physical look and she just apologized immediately that she knows she made a comment about his physical appearance and it wasn't nice that she's sorry like she just sharp sharp like <laughs> every guy's like we have our first sorry already like she just apologized um you know he accepted it and she said she has already apologized before one thing about doing that i really like is like she's very straight up like straight up front straight like she just she's very straight <laughs> like straight in terms of <laughs> this situation so i found that she was arrested like no time for a long thing i did wrong i'm sorry let's let's move on from it then the funny <laughs> The first funny situation, the, the first very, or the second one, because that groovy and final situation was also funny. So the second funny situation was Fam Savvy and Elo Swag's situation. You guys know that when Elo Swag was head of house, um, and they were still in their two houses, um, Elo Swag put up Fam Savvy for, and put Fam Savvy up for possible eviction, and that's how, that's when Fam Savvy left the house. So apparently, the team was still, I mean, the team was because the reunion was shot like like a while ago so i found something expressed that that scene <laughs> it really really got to him like he was seriously talking about the fact that this is somebody that they ate together with they stayed you know during lockdown they stayed together they were roommates they used to share food everything and he could not believe that this guy would be the one to this guy would put him up for possible eviction so others were laughing because the way he was directing it was funny he was like it's not funny like it paid me it really hurts me it's not a funny situation i'm really really serious and then you know he just kept talking me too i was just laughing like this sounded really funny the way he was narrating it was just funny but he just expressed that he really um doesn't till now he said he doesn't still trust elo swag so they cannot even be friends elo swag said that when he came out he apologized to him his mom even called um from savvy to apologize so he felt like they've sorted out their issues. So, Fam Savvy on his own part said he cannot trust him again. So, like, no friendship is going to happen there. Then, Diana and Amaka. Now, it was about the giddy fire situation. <laughs> and Amaka, this, um, Ebuka first, first of all asked Amaka, like, what's up? Did you know that Diana was with giddy fire before? You know trying to get with, with him and everything and then amaka was saying that she asked diana uh, diane is it diana diana yeah she asked diana um a few times about this guy like if i was up with him and then diana told him that told her, um, told her that they were just friends that there was nothing going on with them so um to her it was like a go ahead like i can go ahead because you guys are not having anything um even though some people in the house were telling her that oh these people have something but she, according to her uh, according to diana there was nothing so that's what made her to like um, forge her head now diana <laughs> diana now had something to say um something to say <laughs> something to say she was like before they got into the house they had an agreement that they're not going to fight over any guy true or false and um, true or false and amaka was like diana she wanted to respond to her and diana was like 
true or false you need to answer me yes or no yes or no say it now and then i was like you cannot tell me how to respond to you and then i just kept talking like um this is what we said this is what we not say the others were laughing i think that with diana like whenever she's just expressing herself like that like maybe she's trying to express that she's angry about something it's just very funny especially when she adds pigeon to it you guys know that the pigeon with her accent it just makes her funny like effortlessly funny so she was just talking and was just responding like Amaka was giving this um calm you know madame vibe and everything she was just like i'm going to answer you the way i'm gonna answer you i was like ah hey that be smart you know <laughs> so Amaka was just responding the way she wanted to respond diana was just talking just you know being angry about the whole thing she said yourself and giddy fire are mates so i wasn't even trying to be serious with him we didn't really have anything serious you know it was not serious i'm not his mates you guys are mates <laughs> you know i was like we're not mates like what do you mean we're mates we're not mates so um it was just like a funny situation to me because i think they've already um they already resolved that issue in the house and i don't think they're having any beef or anything so that was what the reunion was really about now that i'm talking about it, it now feels like it was really long they addressed several things but they didn't really go deep into anything per se so yeah that's it so they were looking beautiful i am by the way they were looking really beautiful and the outfits were also looking really good i don't know if i'm going to add any clip in this video because i had you know copyright issues with multi choice not long ago so i'm going to like see if i can add short short clips or not yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up oh and i'm going to see you on the next one bye love you